Hello, me again. I'm going to show you how to make a more advanced script using the uh, video parser plugin. Okay, the site I'm going to do is NASCAR Video. Oh, be quiet, you. So, what we're going to do is first we're going to come to the script maker and we're, script maker and we're going to name our script NASCAR. Give it a description. Make sure the version looks good. And we have to enable the video parser plugin. Just click here, enable. It's been enabled. Go to the script maker. Up here, a button has been added. Add video parser. I'm going to name it to. I'm going to rename it NASCAR parser. Okay, as you see here, there's a bunch of different options that popped up beside just the text. Um, we got a function name, and in most cases you don't have to change this. Um, actually, there's a if you go back to the plugin options, you'll see it has a link to the wiki, and the wiki has more in-depth information for each property. But the first thing we have to do after we have to find the URL to the videos, to the page we're gonna scrape actually to. Uh, find the links we need and that's that all right next thing we need we're gonna skip link prefix right now because I'm not sure if we need it thumb prefix as well we're gonna look at start string begin let's view the source of this page start string begin tells the parser where to start looking for videos and it has to be a unique string and what we're looking for is the videos down in this section here so we're gonna look for nationwide spotlight chat and I'm just going to do a quick search. Nationwide Spotlight. And I think this is it right here. Um, yeah, because the next video is Sight Sounds Charlotte. And as we can see here, it's the same. Okay, so we need to find a, a unique string that exists here. I'm going to just copy this one and see see if it's unique. But I'm going to do that by going back to the top of the page. Control F, search. And as you see, it brought me right back to the exact same location. So I know that's a unique string. I can use this. So this will be my start string. Now we need to find an end string. So we need to scroll past all the videos, and there's a lot of them, until we find the bottom. And I saw this up top here. It said NASCAR pagination top. So this is the bottom. This will probably work good for um, for the bot the string end. But you have to make sure. You have to be careful. You see this extra space was selected here. We don't want that. We just want this string here. Let me go back to this. Add the string end. Okay. So now what's going to happen is everything between those two points. All this is where is what the um, the parser is going to look through to find links to videos and it's only going to search this string and I went past it right here so now we just need to look through here we need to find a link string the link is the actual link to the video and this site makes it really easy I can tell right away it has to be a unique string that identifies the link to the video and that's what this is so you can see that it's pointing to the in the page of the actual video so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna insert this as my link string begin okay and then we just need to find the end and the end is pretty simple too it's this guy right here so what it's gonna do is the parser is gonna look between them this the start string and it's gonna say okay find this and this and then get the, the content in between which is this and that's what we need but if you notice there's no there's no HTTP for, uh, prefix which is this. this is what tells the browser that it's a new URL so we need to use the link prefix to create our own and we're just gonna put NASCAR.com and we can verify this by hovering over and clicking and you can see that it goes to nascar.com slash video okay so next whoops that again 
be quiet, you. And then the next thing we need is a title. And we just need to scan it for the title. And we can see here that the title is Nationwide Sport Spotlight Chat. And we need to find a unique string for this as well. And luckily, as you can see here, slash index.html is the same for all the titles. Title here, title here. So we're going to use that as our title start. I don't know if you see the pattern here. And the next thing we need to do is find, find the end, the um, title end. And that's really simple. It's just going to be this closing a H T or HTML A tag. Stick that there. And now for a thumbnail, we can look around for an image. And that's real easy, too, because we got one right here. It's the only image here. So it's got to be our thumbnail. We'll just put that in here. And then we just select this quote here. At the end, and um, as you can see up here, we have thumb prefix and link prefix. The link, the links that we, we found do not have the HTTP link pre link prefix to it, and, but the thumb does it because it points to a different server. It points to their, I guess their image server. <clears throat> so now we have a thumbnail. We just need to look for the last thing, the length, and let's see if they have a length. And it does down here. Okay, so somewhere in here, and here it is right now. Div class runtime. Some sites make it really easy. This one's making it really easy to get all the necessary information. And we just need to pull this out. So now what it's going to do? It's going to go. It's going to pull the string between these two between these two points inside the code or inside the HTML data then it's going to look for this and the links as a link and it's going to pull the inf information between that and that for the link it's going to pull the title between that and that it's going to pull the thumbnail image from this and this and then the link from this and this um, the code we can look at the code now actually because we're all finished you can see that if you're familiar with the code, it does a four next loop. So it loops. It only goes up to 500. That's just a safety precaution. Make sure you don't get stuck in a loop forever. But it loops through and it searches for the data that we inputted. And now this is actually should be a workable script if everything goes okay. I'm just gonna because my um my server is on a different machine, I use VNC to get to it. So I'm going to start a new. You can just use the save as button that was back there. I'm going to start a new Lua script. And I'm going to save it as NASCAR.Lua. Oh, NASCAR and then we we'll go down to the play on settings. Stop. Start. We'll wait for it to start. And we'll go to XBMC, click on play on. I'm still not ready. Come on, yo. Come on. Go back to XBMC. Alright, it should be good. Alright, let's find NASCAR. NASCAR. NASCAR parser, that's what I named it. Oh, no videos. Something happened. Oops. Let's go back to the script maker and see what happened here. Hmm. Not expecting this. So let's go open the log and see what happens. No, open. I can test it by going to nascar.log. And it doesn't throw any errors. Let's find out. Oh, here's the problem. That extra space I was talking about earlier. See that there? Alright, let me go back here. I didn't catch it. That's why it's important to be careful. And make sure that you don't catch any leading spaces. I, don't, I think it's just a, a bug in Google Chrome Source Viewer. So I can just go back here, paste it, save it stop this 
start it. It's just one of the things, the strings have to be exact or it's not going to work. There's a way for that to reload. We can come back out of here. Wait for the VNC. Alright, it's running. Play on. And NASCAR. Video parser, NASCAR parser. And there's our videos. XBMC has a problem with um, thumbnails, so I know it's not the correct thumbnail. This is probably from a different website, but it, it's got a weird cache. But let's click it, and make sure it works. We can actually go back to VNC and watch the debugger pop up. I've enabled that. There's there's a way to do it. An explanation on the wiki on how to do it. All right, let's go back to XBMC. I guess this is a uh, advertisement. All right. Well, that's how you um. That's how you make a uh, script using a uh, video parser. It's not that hard. It's a little more advanced, but it's not incredibly difficult. Anyone can do it, thanks to the um. Uh, but the simplicity of the script maker in a video parser.